Welcome to our few minutes that we have together on this Thursday or whenever it is that you're joining us. But as you are finding your way into your spot, just allow yourself to get comfortable. Just feel the spot beneath you, allowing you to anchor, to feel rooted, to feel grounded and still. And then just kind of start to notice all the sounds around you in the room, wherever you are. Recognize them, because if we can stay aware of these things, they are far less likely to be a distraction. So just pause for just a few breaths and just take it all in. See what you hear, what you feel, and what you notice. And then begin to shift that awareness to your breath. If you haven't closed your eyes yet, I would invite you to do that and just let that distraction of all the visual stimulus around you, let it go away as well. And just find you a good rhythm of breath in and out, slow and steady and balanced. Our practice does not ask us to turn off our senses or our emotions or our thoughts. It asks us to be so aware of all of these things and yet find the miracle of the present moment within them all, in the midst of them all. When you can learn here during our meditation time to stay aware, to stay present, even with the hum of the air conditioning or the sound of the movement in the house or whatever it is, once you're back walking along your normal path of life, all those sounds, all those things will be far less prone to distract you there as well. That's why this really is a practice. And so as you're finding that nice rhythm of breath, I wanna frame our time together and kind of close out a journey we've been on for a few times together, this idea of finding spaciousness, this emptiness, this expansiveness inside of us. And as I was thinking about other ways that that can manifest, I remembered a story that Eckhart Tolle tells and I think it illustrates this idea so very well. And so first, just continue with the rhythm of breath. And then I would invite you, as I just tell his quick story, to conjure up in your head this visual of what he's describing. The story says that there was a beggar and he had been sitting by the side of the road for 30 years, same spot, every day. One day a stranger walked by and he held out his hand almost mechanically and mumbled, will you spare some change? And the stranger said, I have nothing to give you. But then the stranger paused and asked the man, what are you sitting on? Nothing, said the beggar, it's just a box. I've been sitting on this box as long as I can remember. Have you ever looked inside the box? Asked the stranger. No, said the beggar, what's the point? There's nothing in there. Let's have a look, insisted the stranger. The beggar managed to pry open the lid of the box he'd sat on for so many years. And as the lid was pulled away, with astonishment, disbelief, and then elation, he saw the box was filled with gold. And so I would ask you, as we are pausing here together today, as we've taken this journey through emptiness and spaciousness within us, now let's recognize what's inside. What is in this empty, spacious part of you? It's easy to name the things that clutter us, the things that fill all the corners and all the, all the space that we were trying to clear out. But now that you've cleared it, what do you see? Are you like this beggar who just kind of goes through the motions, never realizing the capacity that you've got within? This box filled with gold, it truly is this metaphor for the capacity within each of us. 
It's really interesting. I've studied so many different belief systems and religions and faiths across time and across cultures. And there's always this common element within all of them that within us is the light and the peace and the goodness and the compassion and whatever it is that we need to navigate what life brings our way. And every belief system says it a little bit differently, but that premise is always there. We don't have to go out and seek these things. We don't have to accumulate stuff. We don't have to get our value from a relationship with someone else or from the accomplishments that we have. Our value is already there within. And so just think about this beggar, how much time he wasted, how many sunrises and sunsets he let go by thinking he had nothing. And all it took was one stranger encouraging him to stop and to look. And so today, I wanna to encourage us to do the same. This metaphor of this box we've been sitting on. Just think, what is inside of me that either I've never even noticed or I haven't noticed it for a very long time? And probably if that's the case for you, the second one is because life tends to make us think something very different. Tragedies come and trauma and struggles and disappointments and setbacks. And so maybe there was a time in your life when you felt that capacity, you felt that gold within you. But all the circumstances of life seem to push it further and further away. For some of us, maybe you've never realized it. But you can look back on your life and you can find these moments where you're constantly pulling from one side to the other, trying to find the things to help you feel the value within your life. But all we've got to do is look within. So I wanted us to spend these last several times clearing out, getting rid of the stuff that doesn't belong there, the mindsets, the negative thoughts, those persisting, nagging things that cause us to see life a certain way, the relationships that don't serve our purpose and our path, the same way we clean out closets and we get rid of clothes that don't either fit or that don't really go with the style or that we don't really even like anymore. We need to continue to do the same thing in our lives. When accumulation begins to come and settle in and dim your ability to see the gold within, it's time to pause and clear it out again. Because even today, if you feel this open expansiveness within you, something's gonna come in life. And you'll take a couple steps backward and then you'll pause and you'll kind of go through all those things and you'll realize what needs to go away and you'll start again. But the amazing thing is that as you start again, you'll look and realize how far you've come along this path. And so I want today for these few minutes that we have to be moments of encouragement. There is a box, metaphorically, of gold within each one of us. People feel it in your presence when you're in the room with them. They see it on your face when you interact with them. They hear it in your voice. It's your light, your peace your love, your compassion, it's your gold. And so I'd like us just to spend these few minutes, each of us, 
in our own space, almost visualizing us getting up like that beggar, looking at that box we've been sitting on, pulling the lid off and seeing the potential of us. You don't have to have a clear picture of what your purpose is and where you're headed. You just have to believe that you've got the capacity to do it. It doesn't have to be grand. It doesn't have to be big acts. It just has to be you expressing what is inside of you to this world. And then I would encourage you again, as we grow quiet and you start to see within your box, imagine if all 8 billion of us could do this. All 8 billion of us could picture the capacity we have and then begin to project our light, our peace, our love and our compassion into this world. And 8 billion sounds like a lot but we can start with us. As you continue to breathe and feel comfortable in the space where you are, I would invite you just to notice how all those things I asked you to check in with and pay attention to in the beginning, chances are they've become a little muted. The sounds were not nearly as loud. The distractions were not nearly as big because you were truly turning your mind's eye and seeing within. Ram Dass calls this polishing our mirror. Same thing, the beggar gets up, he opens the box, there's the gold. You have a mirror within you. Keep it polished. Continue to see the capacity that you have. And again, don't measure it by grand acts. Don't measure it by a clear path with one step after the other. In fact, don't measure it at all. Just see it. No one's capacity looks the same as yours. No one's light looks the same as yours. The same as there's not one that looks like mine. Which means the world needs what we have within. So as we go through our day, in the days to come, I would encourage you, pause, breathe deeply. Let the movement of your ribs and your chest as you breathe in remind you of the expansiveness within you, the space, the gold, the light. And let that be your contribution to your world. one breath at a time. And when you forget, you start again. Namaste.